Filet should have separated from Rosetta, but of course it takes about 28 minutes for the signal actually to travel from there to us. So we're actually just waiting at the moment, and um, ESA have put up the on the screen images of the mission control, and they've been up there for a few minutes, and it's all kind of gone a bit quiet, but nothing's happened yet. So we're just waiting for that signal, and uh, it's all a bit tense. We've just had the signal in, um, there's been loads of clapping and hugging in mission control and in the room in here it's all a bit of a free-for-all, a bit manic, everyone's clearly really excited, that's because we've had confirmation Philae has separated from Rosetta where it's been safely tucked away for the past 10 years and now it's on its way, it's down to the comet. Look at that. Well, we've gone through the next step in the mission. We've, we've got confirmation that the, the Philae lander has been deployed. It's left the orbiter, it's left the mothership as it were, and we're on the next paving slab uh, of, the, of the, the story that is Rosetta, the road towards the comet. So what's happening right now on Philae as it descends? Right, we've initiated what's known as the separation, descent and landing phase of the mission. Um, the, the, the lander's moving away from the orbiter, it will take a goodbye image with Shiva, then it will start monitoring the descent uh, locally, the environment around the lander, looking at the magnetic field, which is important to get an idea of the orientation of the spacecraft as it's moving down towards the comet over the next seven hours. We also have a radio link using the concert experiment, which is scientifically looking at what uh, the surface properties are like with during this descent, but also monitoring how that descent is working. It gets an idea through Doppler, what's happening as it's going down. So to get all this wonderful, totally new data, we are going to need that radio connection, that uplink to work, aren't we? Yeah. And the, the legs are out as well, it's all ready to go for landing? We'll find out once we get that signal. Uh, if it goes to plan, yeah, we've deployed, we now want to make sure that the descent is working properly. And if we don't get that signal, is there any other way to talk to Filet or is it only via Rosetta? Yeah, the, the, you can't pick up the signal from that distance. It's 500 million uh, kilometres away, so it's quite a way away. We rely on, on Rosetta to talk to Philae. It'll be fine. And how are you feeling right now then? Um, more excited, relieved. As we go through the different steps, I didn't have much sleep last night because we, had, we were looking at the different go and no-go uh, situations and the milestones. This is going to be a very long day, but a very exciting day, and um, I think everyone should enjoy it because we're making history. We've since had that separation and we've re-established the connection between the two. So far, it seems like Rosetta scientists have done everything right. Philae is on its way descending down to the comet. Now, it just has to land. But that is a question of luck. Mm -hmm.